in this video i will talk about voltage and electromotive force what is electric potential or voltage the electric potential or electric voltage at any point in an electric field at any point in an electric field is defined as the work done in joules in moving a unit charge from infinity or from zero potential to that point against the electric field if i write this in equational form i will get electric potential equal to work done divided by electric charge if i denote the work done with w and the electric charge with q i will get electric potential v equal to w divided by q now what does it mean let's say i have a sodium atom here and the so this sodium atom leaves its valence electron therefore it will be n a plus this positively charged sodium atom will create an electric field around it let's say it has created a circular shaped electric field and this is a point inside this electric field let's say that point is a point a i have a unit charge plus q at this point outside this electric field and the voltage at this point is zero volt now i want to bring this positive unit charge at this point inside the electric field you will see as the electric field is positively charged therefore the electric field will repel this positive unit charge therefore we have to do work against the repulsion of this electric field and the work that is done in moving this unit positive charge from this zero potential to this point inside electric field against the that work done is known as voltage let's say i have done one joule of work to bring one coulomb of charge at this point against the repulsive force of this electric field therefore i can say the electric potential or electric voltage at this particular point in this electric field will be equal to one volt in the circuit you will see this 9 volt source will maintain a constant voltage difference across this terminal and this terminal to 9 volt to control the current flow in the circuit i will connect a resistor of 10 ohm see this is the resistance of 10 ohm in this circuit you will see the electrons are moving continuously in this direction to move the electrons through this closed path in a particular direction requires some energy or work done and that work is performed by this constant voltage source or this electromotive force this electromotive force is known as voltage or potential difference let's say this is point a and this is point b inside our circuit now i denote the voltage or potential difference between these two terminal as VAB. Now what does this VAB imply? The voltage VAB between two points A and B in this electric circuit is the energy or work needed to move a unit charge or, or move an electron from this A point to this B point and mathematically I can write it like this VAB will be DW by DQ here dw will be in unit of joule and the dq will be in unit of coulomb so voltage or potential difference indicates the energy required to move a unit charge through an element let's say i have an element here this is its a terminal and this is its b terminal i have denoted the voltage or potential difference between these two terminals with VAB. This VAB will indicate the amount of work required to move a unit charge or move an electron from this A point to this B point through this element. That means the voltage, the word voltage is synonymous to the work done to move an electron or move a unit charge through an element. The higher the voltage the more work I have to do to move an electron through that element. 
to give you more clarity of voltage or potential difference as I have told you that that the voltage indicates the amount of work we have to do to move a unit charge through an element let's say I have connected a 10 ohm resistor and a 20 ohm resistor in series with a 9 volt supply now let me show you the voltage drop across the 20 ohm resistor you see the voltage drop will be 6 volt and the voltage drop across the 10 ohm resistor will be equal to only 3 volt let's say I want to move this electron from this point to this point okay and for that purpose I have to do a work of 6 joule but if I want to move that electron from this point to this point I have to do only 3 joules of work therefore the lesser the volt the less amount of work I have I have to do to move a unit charge or move an electron between to that point now let me talk about electromotive force or EMF what is electromotive force or EMF if there exists a voltage difference or potential difference across two terminals the force that establishes the movement of charge carrier through that close path that force will be known as electromotive force that means the electromotive force or the EMF is responsible for the movement of charge carriers through a close path now let me clarify the concept of electromotive force using a circuit see in the circuit I have a voltage source of 9 volt this is its positive terminal and this is its negative terminal the negative terminal will be at lower potential and this positive terminal will be at higher potential between these two terminals I will get a voltage difference of 9 volt that means I have a voltage difference here see I have connected a resistor of 10 ohm in this circuit now if I run this circuit you will see the electrons are moving from the negative terminal towards this positive terminal as the electrons are charge carrier and they are negatively charged and they have charge of minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb that's why the negative terminal of this voltage source will force the electron in this direction and the positive terminal of this voltage source will attract the electrons in this direction due to this force our electrons are moving through this closed path as a result I get the current flow see the force that is established by this 9 volt source because of which the electrons are moving that force is known as electromotive force sometimes we call this voltage source as an EMF source because this source establishes the force that is required for the movement of electrons in this closed path that's why this is also known as EMF source so EMF is the force that establishes the movement of charge carrier in a circuit negative terminal will force the electron to go in this direction and the positive terminal will attract them in this direction they are, that's why the electrons are moving smoothly in this closed path due to this EMF source okay that's it thank you